What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here. Tell you like a T.I. is again. And I've been trying to keep up with the Trevor Martin case. And this whole damn case has been throwing me out. Now, you see this girl named Rachel. She testified twice. And she was been the only person defending Trayvon. It's kind of weird. Only one person out of every person that's been on the witness stand that took up for Trayvon. And I remember, like, and there's some information that the the prosecutor and defense don't even know, I don't think, that it didn't even come up in the case. Okay, now this is Mark Orsterman. Like, I'm going to give put the video of him saying, oh, he picked that gun out for uh, Zimmerman to kill Trayvon Martin with. I'm going to put it in that way. He said, yeah, I did that. I picked that out for him. Which, you being accessory, like, either way, you're picking or giving it, you giving it, you you accessory to him, and he's a police officer. Now think about it. He's friends with Zimmerman, and he's a police officer. Now, some don't seem right. Zimmerman's got a friend that's a uh, that's on the police force. It's like it's kind of weird. Now think about it. You friends with a police officer. A lot of evidence been changed, or not, that's not there, and all this and that. <clears throat> and there's some other things uh, like that really blew me off about this whole case. This really didn't seem right now that's Trayvon's body and what threw me off they, in this picture like they showed the whole picture on HLN and CNN all like that but I've been watching HLN it's like you don't see the sidewalk in this picture you don't but in this picture you see his body's been turned over now you look at his body and see how far his body is from the sidewalk and it's, it's like, you got a question, it's like, his body's that far away from the sidewalk. And Zerman said that Trayvon was banging his head against the sidewalk. Now, why is his body so far away from the, so far away from the uh, sidewalk? That makes no sense. See, look, even in this picture, see the little yellow thing is Trayvon's body. Trayvon Martin's body. It makes no sense that his body is that far away from the sidewalk. See, if Trayvon was banging his head against the sidewalk, banging Zimmerman's head against the sidewalk, and Zimmerman shot him, his body would have been a little bit closer to the sidewalk. A little bit closer. And, and I'm going to show this picture. This is the entry room of the bullet it's in the the entry room that in Trayvon that's on Trayvon and it kind of made me question uh, if somebody's banging my head against the sidewalk and I had my gun on me and I get it I wouldn't sit there and shoot him in the chest because he'll see the gun and he'll grab it he'll grab it trying to take it away from you but he shoots him in the chest. If I, like I said, if I, if somebody was banging my head against the sidewalk and I had a gun on him, I'll shoot him in the abdomen to get him off me, not in the chest because that's where he'll see the gun and he'll grab it, and it makes no sense. Now, another thing is that really made no sense was that really made really make no sense about this whole case it's how like they all these witnesses all these witnesses except for the girl that was on the phone with Trevor that, that Rachel girl all the witnesses said they didn't see a damn thing they didn't see nothing they didn't see nothing And that kind of threw me off. Like this, like all these witnesses saying they didn't see nothing, but I heard something. They heard all these noise. This is before the damn trial started. This is before the trial started. And when the 
when the trial started, you seen all these people saying, oh, I see what happened, I see what happened, this happened, that happened, that happened. But before the trial started, you said you didn't see nothing. You heard a lot of things, but you didn't see nothing. You said, when you was talking to the police, that you didn't come outside your house to see what was happening. You didn't look out your window to see what was happening. And it's and it's kind of kind of throwing me off. It's like all these people saying they seen what happened. All these people coming out the woodwork saying, "I seen this, I seen that, I seen this, I seen that." Why are they coming out now saying they seen all this and that and this and that and this and that? Like I'm saying, you gotta question these things. You gotta question these things because one thing is, it, 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 it's throwing, it's like for real, all this stuff, all this information is not even brought up in the courtroom. Like I said, Zim is, is friends with the cop that gave him the gun to shoot Trayvon Martin. Gave him the gun, it's not, and he's not even in the court. He's not even a witness. He's not even a witness. His name is Mark Orsterman. And and he's not even there to be questioned. He's not even on a witness stand. And another thing is, this is Frank Taffy. Now this he this guy, Frank Taffy, and this guy, Joe Oliver. They say they they say they are Zimmerman's friend. If you was my friend, and I'm on trial for murder. How come you ain't in the how come you ain't in the courtroom supporting me? How come neither one of these guys in the room support me? But they always on TV. They constantly on in the media. They constantly in the media. Either something ain't right with these two, or they just love the camera too damn much. Cause there is no way in hell, Joe Oliver. And Frank Taffy should be the first two people to hit the media before the damn story got deep. They outbeat the they outbeat Trayvon's family to the media. They outbeat Zimmerman's brother. They outbeat the they outbeat the lawyers to the media. Oh, he's innocent. He's innocent. How would you, he? How would you know you wasn't there? Oh, he told me. But why would he tell you that he killed somebody? If somebody, if my friend tells me and he kids calls me up and says, I just killed somebody. I just killed this 17-year-old. Why, why would you do that? Like I said, why would... It, it's for real. It, it makes no sense. Why would I... And one thing about Taffy, though, one thing about Taffy, they do, they was doing a walkthrough. They was doing a walkthrough uh, on the route that Trayvon was going home. They say that he had to cut through Taffy's yard to get to, uh, Trayvon had to cut through Taffy's yard just to get home. Now, and one thing is, if I, if, and Zimmer said he saw Trayvon standing in his friend's taffy jar and taffy said oh i saw him standing in my yard and it was it was kind of fucked up it was like if i see somebody a strange person standing in my yard don't you think i would call the police about that don't you think i would have called the police the police wasn't called after after he like something ain't right here. For real, it, it, it something ain't right here. Something don't seem right. But like I said about this whole damn case, why would this? Why would the witness say before the trial I didn't see nothing? But when the trial comes, they say I saw this and I saw that. But before the child, you said you didn't see nothing. But now you saying something? Oh, come on. And this is the juicy part. This is the good part. Now, 
the people, some of the witnesses that was on the stand actually said this to make Zimmerman look bad as hell. Saying, in the neighborhood watch, you should not carry a weapon, only a cell phone and a buddy. Have a friend, have somebody walk with you. Now, it's kind of weird that these people say that. Some of the people that said that, even the cops even said that. And they say you shouldn't carry a gun. You should carry. A, shouldn't carry a weapon. Only a cell phone and have a friend walk with you. This man was alone with the gun. Alone with the gun. Now, tell me something I don't know. He had nobody backing him up. He had no witnesses. To, had no witnesses. To, witnesses there to back his story up. Oh, he attacked me. Come on now. He had no witnesses and he had a gun on him. Something ain't right here. He had no witnesses to back his story up, but he had a gun on him. And the funny thing is, Taffy went on Nancy Grace. Went on Nancy Grace. Oh, that gun got two safety. One the trigger. And she kept asking him, asking him, if there's a safety in the trigger, how come that other safety wasn't on? She kept repeating the same question. How come the other safety wasn't on? How come the other safety wasn't on? And he didn't answer the damn question. He keep dancing around the question. Uh, 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 uh. I don't trust Taffy and I damn sure don't trust this Joe Oliver fucker. Because like I said, they hit the news before anybody else. Like before the news, before the media even said two words. Like I'm saying, either Frank Taffy and Joe Oliver know something, or they hiding something, or they lying, they getting on the media and lying to the people. Because there's no way in hell my friends going to hit them, oh, this and this and this, and they weren't even there. They weren't even there. But they go into the media before anybody else goes to the media. They were, uh, he ain't he do all that. You damn sure no more details than the fucking prosecuting and defense do. And you got your buddy Mark I'm some Orsterman sitting up there picking out guns for killers. Think about it, he's an officer of the law and his best friend just killed a seventeen year old. Think about it. Don't you think there's something going on with that? He's he's a cop, he just killed a seventeen year old. He's a cop, he's a seven he just killed a seventeen year old. That don't seem like cop, murderer, cop. Killer, cop, just killed a 17 year old. Think about it. Cops can, cops can get to the evidence locker, get to the evidence room, and destroy evidence, take evidence, make evidence disappear. Don't you think some of the evidence has been contaminated by Orsterman? That's the question. That's the question. He said he picked the gun out. It's the same as you saying, I bought the gun and gave it to him. And he said he took the gun out. He, he took Zimmerman out to teach him how to shoot the gun. Yeah, he's a hell of a shot shooting a child in the chest. Which make no sense. Because if he shot somebody in the... If my head was getting banged against the concrete. I wouldn't aim high to get him off me. I would have aimed low because if you aim high, the gun would have been seen by Trayvon and he would have grabbed it, grabbed the gun. See what I'm saying? You should, if someone's banging my head on the concrete, I would have shot in his abdomen. would probably get him off me. And his body is not that close to the sidewalk. That's something, the body's been moved. No, that's, well, it's been flipped over, so it's been moved. But that's his body. Now, his body's not even close to the sidewalk. How did his body get way over there? Way over there. If he was, but, and, and, and one thing is, why would Zimmerman yell for help? Don't sit there and say, oh, because he had some 17 on him. Why would he yell for help if he had the upper hand that had a gun on him? Tell me this. Tell me this. 
why would he why would Zimmerman yell for help if he had the upper hand and he had this gun? That is the question that should be answered. If he it it, it makes no sense at all that Zimmerman would be yelling for help if he had the gun on him. It wasn't Zimmerman yelling for him. That was Trayvon. And every and, and the witnesses are the people that was in the community. That was in the community. Saying, oh, I didn't see nothing, but I heard something. Then later when the trial came, oh, I saw everything. I thought, okay, what, what the fuck? And only one person took up for Trayvon. And that was her, Rachel. And they kept cross. They, they kept. The the defense kept sitting up there trying to grill the hell out of her, trying to see if she gonna slip up. And and, and what makes no sense is like they grill the hell out of her, uh, 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 and she keep telling them she's getting pissed off because her friend just got killed. It's like, well, why you keep? It's like, don't you understand? Can you hear? Do you know? I understand. I can speak English. But everybody, I'm for real. This case is so phony. This is, it, it makes no damn sense. And you got Pete, for real. And they, and they're actually not going to play the 911 tape where the screaming in the background. They're not going to play that. They, but they're going to play every other recording of the 911 calls. And the fun, the question still stands. The question still stands. You heard it for yourself with the 911. When Zimmerman called 911, why would he, uh, he, and about, the, about when he called 911, and the dispatch sat there and say, uh, are you following him? And Zimmerman said, yes. The dispatch said, we don't need you to do that. We don't need you to do that. I'm telling you, he, the police just told him, don't pursue him. If he didn't pursue Trayvon Martin, Trayvon would still be alive today. For real. He would have, Trayvon would have been living today. And everybody keeps throwing up Trayvon's path. Yeah, he got kicked out of school three times. But Zimmerman's got a rap sheet longer than my fucking arm. For real. How you gonna try to make a kid that got kicked out of school three times look like a fucking criminal and this motherfucker got a rap sheet longer than a motherfucker? That's one thing I don't get. I'm, I'm kind of confused on that one. For real. As, as I'm, my mind is blown. Because dumbass people was, oh, Trayvon was a criminal. But Zimmerman's got a record. Zimmerman had the police called on him a lot of times. A lot of times. Being kicked out of school three times does not amount to what Zimmerman did. Think about it. Y'all can sit there and bitch about Casey Anthony. The ones that say, oh, Trayvon was a bad kid. And it's the same motherfucker said, oh, Casey Anthony needs to die. Why are you going to sit there and say Casey Anthony needs to die, but turn around and say, oh, Trayvon deserved to die because he's been kicked out of school three times. But Simmons got a rap sheet longer than a motherfucker. That makes no sense to nobody no sense if a pedophile just raped a kid and he's your best friend and he raped some other kid and that kid comes out and say he raped me why would you sit there and say oh he didn't rape nobody that kid lying he's just doing that for attention why would you do that I, it's just things that I don't get why if my child if Trayvon was my child my child got killed why would anybody take off for somebody that just killed my child 
you got to remember, think about this. Trayvon could have been your child. Trayvon could have been your kid. Trayvon could have been your baby. And he gets killed by this man, and you will feel the same damn way as everybody else has. His parents, the people that's outraged about him finna get away with murder. Because this damn case is a joke. This whole trial is a fucking joke. Orsterman is not even going on the stand because he just admitted on Dr. Phil. He gave the gun to uh, Zimmerman. Joe Orsterman. And Frank Taffy ain't going up on the stand because they set up his up. Oh, we know everything. He he killed in self-defense. And they weren't even there. But they know it. It's, come here. He said they... And they both said... Both said it was self defense, but self defense. But they say Zimmerman told them. Zimmerman told them. If I if I just kill somebody, I'm being shot because I'm just trying to real, trying to come to the grip. I just shot somebody and killed them. I want to tell told no my none of my friends. Cause you get, cause you shoot somebody, you're gonna have to come to grips. I ain't no killer, but they on like for real. You gonna for real? If my friend came out the world, I just killed somebody. I would have called nine one one and gave everything he told me. If I was Zimmer's friend, he said he killed some kid. He said he killed some kid. And the, and the fucked up thing about it, the fucked up thing about it, the fucked up thing about the whole case is this. This picture, I talked about it. It, it does, it does look, look, look fucked up because you see the blood running down his head, the side of his head. <clears throat> And you see his nose busted now on the video camera on the on the camera where he was getting taken in to get booked getting booked that you didn't see no blood and on his head or his nose and the funny thing about it is when he got taken into custody into the police station how come when they released him they gave back them gave him back the murder weapon why they give him back the murder weapon? Why would you give a murder back the murder weapon? That's the question. Why would you give this man back the murder weapon? Why would you, for real? You got an officer as a he got an officer as a friend, and ain't nobody sitting up there bitching about it. I would have questioned this dude for the longest. Why would you pick the gun out for him? I say if you knew that he. Why would you do that? Did you tamper with evidence? Did you tamper with evidence? Did you tamper with evidence? I'm Sir Oysterman. And he writes a book too. Him and his wife writes a book, Being Friends with Zimmerman. Being Friends with Zimmerman. He's not even, he's not even been charged with assess. He's not even getting called to the witness stand. And that's a key piece of evidence right there. A police officer gives him the gun to kill Trayvon Martin. Yeah, I was up to law my ass. Like I said, man, I, I'm telling you this. If you watch this video, please tweet this video. Please post it on your Tumblr. Please post it on your Facebook. Please, because this shit is just got real. Why would Zimmerman yell for help if he had the upper hand that he had a gun? Why would he yell for help? You tell me this shit. And I will actually put the the, the 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 video of where Zim I'm actually put the video where I was I was Orsterman admitted that he gave him the gun. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. Subscribe to my YouTube channels. You uh, CeeLo Jr. Two, CeeLo Jr. Three. Please tweet this video. Please put it on Tumblr. Send me what you think. I don't want to hear none of motherfucker. Trayvon deserved to die because that's kind of fucked up. They could have been your child. They could have been your fucking child or your niece or your nephew that got killed. 
This has been Afro Joe's Ten Like T A is peace, love, and Afro Grease.